alive behind life comes from respiration to cells mitochondria. These minute powerhouses have their own DNA, the same DNA that is passed down generations from mothers to their children. The same mitochondrial DNA as the very first woman in the family tree. All her descendants have her mitochondria, her energy, her life. And it is women who pass this on to each generation. This is the flame of life. The story of two mitochondria through time. The story of two best friends through life. I want to make history, leave something behind. Like Queen Elizabeth and Queen Victoria who built great empires. Not just stand and wave as life sails off. I have passed on to you what I have received from my mother. And you would pass it on to your children. Just like Sharon's mother has done the same with her dear daughter, your best friend. And she too will hand on this gift to her children. As a woman, you have in you the source of all energy, the motor on which life is sustained and thrives. In the centuries to come, even if we are not alive, a part of us will flourish in each generation with each breath, with each burst of energy that brings change and progress to the world. It's been so long since we last saw Marie in her old science class. She said she will be coming with a new husband, Pierre Curie. She was a good teacher, her mother a good headmistress, but quite strict still. I do miss the old days back in school. They were good times, but these are better. This Harriet Quimby will break barriers. She is, after all, the first woman aviator to fly across the English Channel. Such guts! She's also a journalist, screenwriter, and movie director. You have followed Quimby's steps in detail, the same passion as your grandma to make history. I'm excited about leaving for Canada, but it's hard to leave my best friend behind. You should be happy and proud. Your mom will join the Women's College Hospital as a trained physician, just like Marie's sister in Paris. Yes, but I will miss you so much. Cheer up, it's not just another hospital. It's a hospital created and run by women who make all the difference in their community. Where Emily Stowe and Anne Stone have set an example for the entire world through their medical and humanitarian brilliance. You are right. I can see Marie and Pierre coming. Oh, and look, Harriet Pumby is getting into her plane. Let's run and see the departure. Once again, we are standing on this same beach side by side. And so much has happened during these years. Working side by side with Marie and Irene Curie during World War I, while making x-rays of our brave soldiers who were injured in the battlefield. Seeing Marie receive two Nobel Prizes, and then Irene receiving hers too. Mother and daughter changing the history of science together with their husbands. This place seems to be an enchanted one for us. Now we can look at the past and look at the future as we live this special present in which it seems a woman will make history once again. Amazing how life cycles bring us back to this same spot. You know, Gertrude Ederly has trained really hard. She's bound to swim gracefully across these waves shore to shore. Grandma, Grandma! Isn't that Elizabeth with her father, King George, standing over there? Yes, and listen to that astonishing idea. Wouldn't it be amazing if people could cross the channel we could visit our friends in Paris in the morning and be back home for supper. That sounds pretty far-fetched, Elizabeth, for people to just jump the channel. It's not like we can walk on the bottom of the sea over to the other shore. I think you've been reading too much, Jules Verne. Well, impossible sounds like an impossible word to me. And here we are back again, my dear friend. Yes, with a new generation and a queen, a woman, wife, mother, and grandmother. A blessed, powerful actor of change, who said that impossible was what truly was impossible the last time we met. The inauguration of the English Channel proves it so. You are right. That is what we as women have been directly or indirectly throughout history, actors of change. And finally now our two families will walk together under the water.